What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw mommy long legs from Poppy Playtime chapter three. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top of our circle and bring that down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now you wanna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle, bring that down towards the same height and then back up. Now I want to push the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. So we'll start on the inside of the left eye, draw a smaller circle going around, and just pull that in. Let's add a smaller circle in the center of the iris on both sides. Then we'll add a smaller circle along the top of the pupil. And we'll fill the bottom of the pupil in black, going around that highlight. Now from here we're gonna move down and draw on the top edge of the mouth. Let's start directly underneath the left eye, curve the mouth coming down, and then bend that up towards the right. Let's draw the upper lip. In the center of the mouth, we're gonna step up, start with a point, Curve this up and then down toward the left. Go back to the center, do the same thing on the right. From the corners of the mouth, we're gonna step in at a curve. Coming down towards the bottom of the mouth, and then back up. Now we're gonna move down and draw on the lower lip with a curve, coming down and then up. And we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we're gonna add three lashes above each eye. We're gonna start right in the center with a straight line going up. Move to the inside, we're just gonna angle this up and in. And then on the outside, angle this up and out. Now from here, we're gonna draw the bottom edge of the hair going up towards that swirl. Directly above the left eye, it's gonna come down. And let's bend this up towards the right. Now we're going to draw an oval swirling around towards the inside. Up towards the top of the head, come around the left side, and then bend that in. Let's finish off that swirl. Come in the middle, go up on the right, come around, and then just bend that down. Let's close the left side of the hair, going around and just tucking that in. Now from here, we're going to draw the outside of the head. Let's we'll start from the left side of the hair, curve the head going around the eye. Just come down and just pull that in underneath the lower lip. Go all the way around the right side. Go around the eye and pull that in underneath the hair. Let's add some hair along the side. Starting from the left, come around the head and just pull that in towards the side. Let's add that band on the top left side. We curve this up, come down, and then in. Now you want to add three thick wavy sections of hair coming out from the side. Let's start from the center of that band. We go up, come down, and then bend that in. And we'll bend that back out towards the end. Just round up the end of the hair, coming around with a half circle, and it'll follow that curve coming back in. Just want to leave an even space gap going all the way around, going up toward the top, and then in behind the band. Let's add another one along the top, going up, come down the side, and then bend that out. Let's round up the end, just tuck that in behind. Now you continue along the top, going up, and then down in behind the band. Let's add one more, starting from the bottom, go across and then down in behind, continue in between, come in and then down. Let's round up the bottom and then again just tracing this back in behind the band.
Now let's go back underneath the head and draw on the necklace. We're gonna start right in the middle with a circle, go all the way around, and then up. Now you want to draw another series of circles going in behind and underneath the head. So we'll start on the side, going around, tuck that in. And the same thing on the right. Let's do that one more time. Going out and then in. Now we're gonna tuck the upper torso in underneath the head. Let's start on the left side of the necklace. Let's draw an oval. Going all the way around, towards the bottom, in the center. Continue out towards the right. And then we'll pull that in. From the bottom of that oval, we'll step up. Start with a point. Now from here, we're gonna curve this up. And then down on the left. Go back to the center. Go up and then down on the right. Now before we get into the rest of the body, let's draw on the arms. We're gonna start with the arm on the left. Start by coming down, bend this up towards the top, and then down towards the side. Now we're gonna bring the arm back in towards the wrist. Just gonna round up the arm, come in, and then bend that down. Let's round up the bottom of the wrist, coming down and up, and trace that curve of the arm back in towards the body. Up, just leaving that even space gap all the way around, and then tuck that back in. Let's wrap that thick cuff around the wrist. From this point, we'll step up, we'll draw an oval Go all the way around, and then back in on the right. Now let's go to the left side of the cuff, draw the palm, coming down, and then bending that in, and we'll draw the first finger, coming down towards the tip. Pull this up and then bend this out. Let's layer two more fingers in behind. Starting from the bottom, come down, up, and then in. Step over, we're gonna do that again. Going up, around, and just tuck that in behind the cuff. Now we move over and draw on the right arm. Let's line up the bottom of the arm over on the right, curve this up, come down, and then in. Bend the arm, coming in, and then down towards the wrist. Now just like we did with the left side, I'm just gonna round up the wrist, and then follow that arm, go all the way around towards the top, and we'll tuck this in behind the head. Let's wrap that cuff around the wrist. And then we'll draw that same hand flipped over. Let's we'll start from the outside, draw the palm coming down, and then in. Let's add in the first finger, coming down, up, and then out. And we'll draw two more fingers. Coming down, then that out. And then we'll do that one more time. Now with the arms in place, let's draw the lower torso tucked in behind. We're gonna start on the left side, draw a circle. Go all the way around, just tuck that in behind the arm, and come down towards the bottom. Just gonna finish off that circle. Go all the way around, and then back up. Let's connect the upper and lower torso with a thick cable. We're gonna start right in the center, come down and bend that out. Just gonna round out the end, and just pull that back up on the right side. Now we're gonna draw the legs in behind the body. Let's we'll start over on the top left side. Start by curving this up and out in behind the arm. And that's gonna continue in between, going down, come around, and then bend that down towards the ankle. Let's round up the ankle, just like we did with the wrists. And we'll follow that curve coming back in towards the body. So all the way around, and in behind the arm. Continue along the top, and then bend that down. Let's do the same thing over on the right. I'm just gonna line this up, bring this up, round up the leg, and come down. Continue along the bottom, and pull that in. Let's round up the ankle, and follow that curve going all the way back up, and in behind the arm, and just curve the top in between. Let's add that thick cuff around the ankle. That oval, going all the way around, and then 
back out. Let's go back and draw on the left foot. We're gonna start underneath the cuff. Feel the heel coming in and then down. Round up the bottom of the heel, going down and then up. Let's curve the top of the foot. We're gonna go up toward the top and then bend that down. Now from the top of the foot, we're gonna step in, bend this in and up underneath the cuff. Let's go back to this line. It's gonna add that trim. Coming around, just tucking that up underneath the cuff. Now on the right side, the heel's covered by this hand, so we'll start from the bottom, curve the bottom of the foot, coming down, and then bending that out. Let's round out the top of the foot, going up, and then back down, and close off the top of the foot. Let's add that strap going all the way across and underneath the cuff. And we'll finish off by signing our artwork and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Mommy Long Legs from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.